only reason why peers, the ages 12 to 24, contract HIV is because they don't respect themselves. So it was interesting because when I came in here, I got really quiet, if you notice, and I began reading the literature. And it says, talking about fashion designers. That's what you guys are doing, right? Do you know no more reason why people don't use protection is because they don't know what they're wearing? They don't know that beyond clothes, that the design of their skin is more important than somebody touching them and giving them something. So they give someone else the opportunity to design their life for them because of love. So you guys are doing a public service announcement. Well, so my hope for you guys is, is explaining to your peers how to, to be okay in their own skin, right? So then your job is to think about ideas on how to, how to show your peers how you can design your own lives to be effective, to have other people wear what you wear. What does that mean? Well, you know, people be like, man, you smell good. It's because I'm true to myself. Man, them are the bomb shoes. That's because I walk in my own truth. I like your hair. That's because I'm unique and I don't care what you think about me. Before clothes can make, you have to make the clothes. Before clothes can make you, you have to make the clothes. So why is it very important? So write down these three dates, 2004, 2005, So in 2004, a woman who I knew, called Sue, died of HIV and cancer. Write it down. June 19th of 07 at 12.34 p.m. I was like, with HIV. That woman in 2004 was my aunt. That man, Harry, in 2005 was my brother. And that young man in 2007 was me. So now I'm going to ask you again, do you know anyone who is HIV? So now you have no excuse to say that you don't know what HIV looks like. You're looking at the clothes that I wear because I've designed my life so that no one would think that HIV looks like me. You wouldn't know HIV looked like me by the way I looked. You would not know what HIV looked like if you saw the way that I talked to people. So in saying that, you have to understand that you don't ever know what HIV looks like. HIV can come in the best package that's most attractive to you. And I'm going to go back to what I first said. If you were speaking over me, you would not have been able to hear what I was saying. This is a positive lesson for you to understand on being an effective makes you an effective speaker. Mm -hmm. An effective speaker
you have to be an effective listener. So how did I get HIV? Going back down to the designing of my own self, I did not respect who I was. I did it. Was I promiscuous? No. Was I shallow? No. You ever have somebody who, who wears nice things but doesn't understand that those things cost money? You ever have someone who showboats? You know about your showboat? But they have no idea how hard it was for that person who ever bought them that gift. It cost. No. Yes. We all showboat. We all walk around and think that we know everything until life shuts us down. We all think that we know everything. We all have this, this, this thought in our minds that I got this, I'm grown. You're not grown until you can be set aside and have your own desire. So obviously you guys are the seven leaders that I'm supposed to be talking to you today. And for the service announcement, it will behoove you to go back to the basics. Because without having the fashion design, without having the ambiance of something to put over for the clothes, there's nothing. If you have no blueprint, you have no home. If you have no blueprint, you cannot make the foundation. Any questions so far? I hear heavy breathing, I hear quick pair of eyes, I see nervous laughs. Oh, girl was like, I can't even eat my chips right now. <laughs> You guys are at a pinnacle age. I take the bus sometimes, and I see your peers. Maybe y'all acting a plum fool on the bus. Are you showing people around you, outside of your own group, this design of your own life, or are you showing your peers what it looks like? change your behavior, you may not contract HIV, but there is something in STD, an STI, or HIV, or some other issue that is wanting to get you, will get you, because you don't think that you are viable to get it. <coughs> so I'm telling you, the day after Valentine's Day, on the 15th of February, 2012, 420 in the afternoon, 
you've been warned. You now know what HIV looks like. If a year from now it happens to you, you can't cry, you can't moan, you can't groan because you've been warned. It wasn't that I put myself in this situation because I thought I was cool. It was because my behavior did not change. I did not keep my mouth quiet enough HIV from someone, it's not their fault, it's your fault. Why is it your fault and not their fault? Because you should respect your own body to either A, use a condom, B, get tested with them, or C, talk about what these things are that you can get into. y'all faces, I don't care, y'all can look innocent if y'all want to, y'all just popped it off last night, one and two of y'all went in the bathroom and got it on, got it off, don't play with me, I work in clinics, I see this all the time, from the ages of 12 and over, so the innocent faces do not fool me, I'm not your mom, I'm not granny, I'm not your daddy, I'm not auntie. I'm gonna check you, I know you wrong and you bogus. Here's a hint. If the person you're with, fingernails, they're dirty, <laughs> their panties and their boxers are probably dirty too. 